The warning has been issued. Do not cut Medicare, Social Security benefits in this debt ceiling fight, says former President Donald Trump to the Republican Party. And uh, I reported this to you as soon as it came out live this morning. And can you believe it? Former President Donald Trump and current President Joe Biden actually agree on something, and that is do not hurt those collecting retirement, SSI, SSDI, collecting Social Security, Medicare. Leave them out of these negotiations and make sure that they get the benefits that they need because they're hurting. And wait until you hear what former President Donald Trump had to say. Uh, he's saying that those collecting these benefits, they have been getting the brunt of this, uh, of inflation, and that the last thing we need to do is take away the benefits that they so badly need. Now, let me know your thoughts, you guys. And again, I shared this with you before, but I want to put it on the screen. Read right from the articles. Link them in the description. Cite the sources so you can see it for yourself. Uh, as their warning, Kevin McCarthy, don't do these cuts with this debt ceiling crisis. Now, I let you guys know yesterday that it was the official day that we hit the debt ceiling, which means the borrowing capacity of the United States is maxed out. We cannot borrow any further. We have hit the ceiling, but now we're waiting for the X date. And I cover all the details in that last video. As they're saying, we've got somewhere till June. Right now, White House Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is saying that they are taking extreme measures to try to stop the X date from hitting. They've got a couple of months. They're trying to delay it out, but we have got to fix things because uh, we are running out of time. Now, I'm gonna give you the details though, because like I said, one of the negotiation pieces for increasing the debt ceiling was to cut some of the funding because Republicans are saying, listen, we cannot have this out of control spending. It's just going nuts and we gotta cut back and budget. But Donald Trump is saying that is totally fine. But do not cut Social Security. There are other things that we could cut from. I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what he had to say. But he's saying stop sending money overseas. Stop sending money to these other agenda items. Uh, and don't cut, though, Social Security. Now, very quickly, though, let's take a look at these headlines. Uh, with the rhetoric on Social Security, Trump undermines McCarthy. Trump. Under no circumstances should Republicans cut Social Security and Medicare. Kevin McCarthy's debt ceiling standoff is yet more Republican madness, another article says. And right here today, this just came out less than an hour ago, McCarthy says that he accepts Biden's invitation to meet about the debt ceiling. So at this very moment today, they are working on this, trying to figure something out. Uh, and we're going to be seeing how this all unfolds because they have got to get this budget thing taken care of uh, because the inflation's out of control and they have got to increase the debt ceiling. Otherwise, this is going to be economic catastrophe. Just to clarify, this is not going to be negatively impacting only those collecting Social Security, Medicare, all these benefits, VAs. Uh, this will impact the entire world because a default on our U.S. economy uh, will be devastating for everybody. This will be felt across the globe. So something has to be done. Uh, and just to clarify, and I said this in my video yesterday, I'm fairly confident uh, in their ability to get something done, hopefully in the next couple months, because they understand the severity of what is at stake here. So we will see, but I wanna dive into the details of the warning that President, former President Donald Trump issued today to the Republicans in the House saying, uh, do not cut Social Security. So let's go ahead and dive right in and also stick around to the end for some updates on the disruptions that could happen to Social Security. I'm going to give you all the details. Uh, stick around to the end. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive right in. Smash the like button if you appreciate these updates, keeping you up to speed on everything so you know what's taking place. Hit subscribe to stay up to date and turn on notifications so you're notified right away. But with that being said, Let's take a look at these articles. Now, as always, these articles are linked in the description below, and this one just came out. These all came out today, and it says, don't cut Medicare, Social Security, in debt ceiling fight. Now, former President Donald Trump warned Republicans on Friday to avoid making changes to Medicare or Social Security amid the ongoing debt ceiling. And he said, under no circumstances should Republicans vote to cut a single penny from Medicare or Social Security. Trump, who was running for president in 2024, said that Republicans should instead focus on ending left wing gender programs from our military and the billions being spent on climate extremists. He said, cut waste, fraud, abuse, everywhere that we can find it, and there's plenty of it, but do not cut the benefits that our seniors worked for and paid for their entire lives. Save Social Security, do not destroy it. Now, here's the article that I reported on this morning. This one says, Trump, under no circumstances should Republicans cut Social Security or Medicare. Now, the article says, the former president who in November launched a 2024 White House campaign called for cuts to a slew of other areas. In 
including funding for corrupt foreign countries. And I know I've heard a lot of people say, stop sending money overseas. Climate extremists, left-wing gender programs for our military, and waste, fraud, and abuse everywhere we can find it. He blam blasted Biden's spending agenda, though the nation's debt increased around $7 trillion during his Trump administration. While we absolutely need to stop Biden's out of control spending, the pain should be borne by Washington bureaucrats. He's saying make, make the Congress members feel the pain, not the people of the United States, not by hardworking Americans and families and American seniors, Trump said. The seniors are being absolutely destroyed in the last two years. The former president's message about protecting Social Security and Medicare is consistent with his previous comments on the issue as a candidate in 2016. But Friday's video dropped as Republicans Republicans in Congress are readying for a fight over raising the debt limit, with some conservatives arguing cuts or reforms to Social Security and Medicare should be on the table in order to balance spending. Now, Trump's comments on the social safety net are also in line with the messages coming from President Joe Biden and the White House. Biden has repeatedly warned Republicans they may try to cut the programs, including Social Security and Medicare, and he vowed to veto any such efforts. So he said if they try to do this, he will stop it. The White House has been adamant that it will not negotiate lifting the debt ceiling with conditions such as spending cuts for these programs. The U.S. hit its debt limit this week. I let you know it was yesterday, and the Treasury Department this week enacted extraordinary measures to continue to pay its debt, giving lawmakers until June to reach a deal to raise raise the limit and the debt ceiling accounts for the money that the government has already spent and approved, not future spending. So Social Security is full on in the mix with everything that's going on. And we heard that 2023 was going to be the year of Social Security. They're looking to reform the entire system. They're also looking to make changes to it to enhance it. Now we're hearing about changes to cut it. I'll keep you guys up to date every step of the way, but here is where things stand with the negotiations for the debt ceiling. And like I said, Social Security is right in the middle of the mix. So we're going to want to keep an eye on what's happening with these negotiations. This just came out less than an hour ago, and it says... House Speaker Kevin McCarthy confirmed that he has accepted an invitation from President Biden to meet and discuss a solution to addressing the debt ceiling. The White House has previously said that there would be no negotiations with Republicans on the debt ceiling, that there must be a clean increase of the debt limit that is without conditions attached. So they're saying... Do not try to come and cut spending on certain items. We're not going to allow it, but we will see what's going to come out of this meeting that they're expected to have. Still, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said in a briefing on Friday that the president is looking forward to meeting with Speaker Kevin McCarthy about the debt ceiling. President Biden, I accept your invitation to sit down and discuss a responsible debt ceiling increase to address irresponsible government spending, McCarthy tweeted Friday afternoon, and I look forward to our meeting. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen announced that the country had reached its borrowing limit on Thursday yesterday and estimated the federal government can use extraordinary measures to avoid a crippling credit default until about June, which is, we're hearing, nobody knows the actual date, but sometime around there will be the X date when we actually hit default. Many Republicans, like McCarthy, want an agreement on lowering federal spending before supporting a debt limit increase. Congress suspended the debt limit three times under former President Donald Trump. Wow, let me know your thoughts. And again, all of this just unfolded today. This is breaking news. This morning, former President Donald Trump comes out and says, do not make cuts to Social Security, Medicare, these benefits. Keep them off the negotiating table for the debt ceiling uh, increase. And yesterday, we hit the debt limit. And they're saying they're not going to increase this. They said they know that there's a lot at stake, but we have got to get the spending under control. And they're saying that's fine, but don't make cuts to Social Security. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with Kevin McCarthy? Inflation's out of control. We got to stop the spending. But do you also agree with former President Donald Trump that we cannot cut Social Security benefits at the same time? Uh, we will see what's going to be unfolding as they're going to be having this meeting, Joe Biden, Kevin McCarthy, to see what they can come up with. Now, in addition to that, I covered for you the details of how this is going to be impacting everything if they cannot resolve this. And like I said, again, just to clarify, I, I'm very hopeful, I'm very confident that they'll reach something because they have got to understand the severity of what's at stake. Now, if you want to know what could potentially unfold, what we could be looking at, what could be impacted, just so you know all the details, check out this video right here that I uploaded yesterday where I cover everything for you about Social Security, Medicare, but not just that, all the different ways it could impact our nation if there is, in fact, a default. So check out that video next if you're interested. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Smash the like button, subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless.
This is Steve.